I've gotten this question so many times asking about what is the optimal testosterone serum level if you're taking testosterone. So first of all, remember symptoms matter more than labs when it comes to testosterone. Second, free testosterone is better than total testosterone for looking at optimization. You want free testosterone to generally be towards the upper end uh, of the reference range for your lab. Now, many of you have said, well, what is the optimal level for my lab? Every lab calculates free testosterone and reports it differently. So there is not a single number that I can give you that says this is optimal for your lab and I'm not gonna print out you know, hundreds of lab tests to decide what your optimal level is for your lab. But I will tell you how to find it. So all you need to do is find the name of your lab, for instance, LabCorp, and type into your computer, LabCorp Women's Free Testosterone Reference Range. That will give you a range that is considered the normal range for free testosterone for women. If it gives you an option of age for women, you want women that are younger, like 20 to 30 years old, premenopausal range. So let's say the reference range is zero to four. That's the reference range that is considered normal by your lab. Now, if you're taking testosterone, ideally, your free testosterone will be in the upper end of that range. So maybe it's a three, maybe it's a four, but upper end. Again, it's different for every lab. You have to do this calculation yourself. I cannot do it for you. But more importantly, you need to be documenting your symptoms and whether what you're taking is helping your symptoms and use that as even more of a guide than what that lab value shows you. Got it?